So nobody also creates curriculum alone. Um, it goes through a design team, that you, so you get feedback from your colleagues and always an interdisciplinary team. So that if I'm a science teacher and I'm making science curriculum and I write some instructions and the master degree English teacher sitting across from me has no idea what you're asking, chances are the student won't either, right? So, um, so there's a check on that, but there's also then an opportunity to create interdisciplinary classes or, oh, I have this one thing that you know, you could drop in here. This is how you teach how to write a sentence. Um, so you get a lot of uh, uh, power in having a, a several adults creating a piece of curriculum. Um, and then you get a check that, that holds to our instructional model. Like, oh, that's not a capstone because. Or what would make this a capstone? Um, so they, they get some guidance and some time to go through the process. Otherwise, you're just in a hurry. Like, oh, I have to, I have to make a lesson plan for tomorrow. I'm going to go on the internet and find something on the smart board. You know, as opposed to being very thoughtful about a whole piece of curriculum that you're writing with a whole team that gets implemented after it's, after it's written. And it allows us to bring students onto the CDTs. It allows us to bring um, other voices into a single class so that it, it can be, hopefully, a little less frustrating <laughs> once you get it to a student. Always then it needs revision. And those do happen within the, um, within the departments.